Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lala and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make apple wine. Yes, if you're interested in knowing how to make this, just keep watching. By the way, if you're not subscribers yet, please remember to subscribe, like and share. Also, if you're already subscribed, then welcome back and uh, please like and share as well. Okay, this is what you'll be needing for this project. You'll be needing a bottle to brew your wine in, two teaspoons of traditional active dry yeast, a funnel, one cup of sugar, a balloon with a needle, and one liter of apple juice, 100% pure apple juice, no sugar added. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be using our funnel to pour some of our juice in. You're going to be pouring some of the juice, not, not the whole bottle. Okay, now we're going to be adding our one cup of sugar. Sometimes this is pretty hard to get down in the size funnel that I have. So I'm going to be using some of that juice to soften that sugar up. Still have some sh sugar, um, some juice remaining though. I'm going to need that for the yeast also. Okay, now we're going to be adding our two teaspoons of yeast. Okay, and this is where the extra juice comes in because we're going to use that to wash the, the yeast down in the bottle as well. Okay, so we're going to be replacing the bottle cap that came with the bottle and we're going to give this a really good shake to dissolve that sugar. Okay, so now that's done, we're going to be using our needle to poke some holes. I'm poking as many as possible because I need that gas to be released when it's fermenting. So poke as many holes as you would like. The more the better. I'm going to be using my balloon to put over the neck of the bottle. You could center that if you if you would like. Okay, keep this in a dark warm place to ferment. So this is what your balloon should look like after a couple of hours. So one to two weeks, le weeks later, your wine should be ready. Okay, you guys, so now my apple wine is ready. See, I marked it. Oh, shoot. I marked it apple because I have another one brewing there. So I wanted to make sure that I got the right one. So now my balloon has flopped over as usual. That means my wine is ready. So as usual, I'm going to cut, cut my balloon. And then... Peel that down. I have my one liter mason jar here because this was originally one liter of juice. So I'm just gonna do my eye level thing and pour it off just so I don't get 
any of that sediment in the bottle in the bo bottle okay Okay, wow, okay. So I got got it right up there. All right, so I'm just gonna cover this and refrigerate it. Okay, one second. Okay, I'm gonna cover this and refrigerate it, let it, let it um chill. So, um, so you notice that it's kind of uh, cloudy right now. That's fine. If you leave it in the fridge for another couple of days, you'll realize that it gets as clear as how the juice was before. So, is this this is completely raw and fresh right now? So you can drink it, no problem. But if you want to have a clearer wine um yeah then just leave it in the fridge for a couple of days or whatever just forget about it for two three days and it will become more translucent it will be more clearer in the in the and then you will see that there's some sediment settled at the bottom again but that that type of sediment um is the one that sticks to the bottom so you don't have to worry about it because we we got all of the sediment that needs to be thrown away can you even see this oh, god yeah so all right so that's done i'm gonna put this in the refrigerator forget about it for two three days let it become clear and then i can enjoy my wine all right thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye